Rain can be peaceful, water is soft, and yet water can do great damage to things that people have made, like towns, cities, roads and houses. Floods can destroy, and running water affects not only man-made things, but also natural things. It can move soil, carve rocks and level mountains. This is part of water erosion, and it's happening all around us. But we don't always notice the work of water, because it's often happening slowly. Let's look at what water can do with this model river. We'll compress many thousands of years into a minute or so. Water runs from the mountains down to the plains. The first stage of development for a river is called the youth stage. Waterfalls may form where a river flows over a cliff, and a young river is usually narrow and flows rapidly and cuts deeply into the ground. After long erosion, the river reaches the mature stage in which the valley is wider and the flow may be slower. Soil and rocks are still pushed and carried along by the moving water. Clear rain turns to muddy water as a fast river picks up and carries particles of soil, silt. The river valley becomes wider and flatter, and it may occasionally flood its banks and spread over the surrounding plains. Water may swirl in eddies and seek new paths as it flows down towards the sea. Old age is the stage where the river winds and meanders across a flat plain as it moves towards the ocean. The river breaks up into a triangle of small channels, a delta. Moving water is tremendously powerful and sometimes it seems impossible to stop. We often build homes and towns near the banks of a river because it's convenient and pleasant to be near water. But we always run the risk of becoming victims of the river at times of flood. A river in flood can not only destroy the things we've built, with its swirling water, but also with the thousands of tons of silt that it leaves behind. Rivers are important to us, but they are also the main destroyers of our landscapes. Given time, rivers, with the aid of weathering, could level all the land on Earth. But in some parts of the Earth's crust, land is being pushed up as other parts are worn down. Water keeps flowing downward, pulled by gravity, until the water meets the ocean. The sea, no matter how distant, is the goal of every river. So fresh water from rivers pours into the salt water of the sea. 97% of water on the Earth's surface is in the oceans, and ocean water is constantly moving around the globe in currents. The power of waves on our shores carves the changing coastline. And of course, the sea is a home to thousands of different kinds of plants and animals. 